Ambo! Well, welcome hey. to uh, New York Talks post-match reaction from the Ipswich game. 2-2 uh, two -two Mick. Um, I think it was fairly fair overall, I think 2-2. Two -two. What do you think? I think on the balance of it, yeah, I think it probably was. Uh, I'm sure anybody supporting Ipswich will completely disagree with that, but mm. then they disagreed with everything tonight, didn't they, it seems. So, um, yeah, I mean, they're a decent side, aren't they? Mm. They play some nice football, uh, offer nothing else, though, do they? Realistically, they created very little. Uh, they relied on a goal to go ahead that came off somebody's backside. I'm not sure who's, mm. but um, so yeah. I mean, I can see why they're where they are, but yeah, I think overall we just about did enough to uh, to get some out of the game. Yeah, I had um, flashbacks of the Leicester game yeah, at times, yeah. uh, where the teams obviously got the quality there, but they're just not quite firing <clears throat> against us. Um, like I say, two two, fairly fair result, I think. Um, and we'll start, well, at nearly the start of the game, Sam Nombe's first goal yeah. for the club. And I think it's a decent centre-forwards finish, isn't it? It's a cracking finish, isn't it? It's a great cross from uh, from Fred. Uh, did some really hard, you know, did all the hard work down that, that right-hand side, won the ball back, uh, fouled probably five or six players while they were doing it. Um, and a beautiful cross, uh, mm. and it's just a tapping for, for Nombe, isn't it? but you've got to be there. Um, so, yeah, good, good, good start. And, yeah. and we didn't, we should have capitalised on that. Ultimately, but you know, yeah, I think so as well. Um, Ipswich goal almost came as a almost like a bit of a killer. It almost <laughs> it almost felt like um, one of them set pieces for the camera. Yeah, um, you know the corner routine completely fooled everybody. I think on the pitch, apart from the Ipswich players, obviously, and the crowd as well. Um, and it one of them goals where you just have to go. You know what? Fair play. I think it was just a you know fair play finish. No qualms for me really. The only good thing for me about it was the finish. The finish yeah. was excellent. The defending was dreadful. Mm. The officiating to give the free kick in the first place was even more embarrassing yeah. uh, because I, I know that we're going to see we're going to wake up on social media tomorrow and Colin Bramall's going to be getting a slate in for, for giving away the foul. He didn't foul. There's, there's no ifs or buts about it. It was not a foul, um, and, and the, the kid's just throwing himself on the floor, which is which 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 I accept happens, and and you know you could argue that Colin Bramall shouldn't have put him in his position, self in a position to do that. That's that, that's wrong. You know, you don't put. You can't say you shouldn't put himself in a position so he can cheat. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> essentially, it's what he did. So it's not a free kick, but we got you got to defend better than that. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think so. Can't as well. blame him all that space. <clears throat> but just speaking of the officials as well, um, Hugel's penalty call in the second half as well. Now, from where I was, because I was at the top of the north stand today with Jensen. So hello, Jensen, if you're watching. Um, but to me. Hugo just gets completely ragged to the floor, and we know what Hugo's like. He does yeah. sometimes buy a free kick or or a foul or whatever, but this time it honestly looked like he didn't buy it. He just got wrenched to the floor, um, yeah. and it was right in front of the referee, and it was like the most blatant call I think as well, almost more blatant than Ipswich calling for handball every five minutes. Handball! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm over to comment on that because. I didn't. I didn't see it. So you know, I, I'll, I'll take your word for it on that. Yeah, it, it was. Yeah, it was, that, it, one. That, that were a bad call in my opinion. I might watch the replay and think completely different. But anyway, um. you, you, you look at you look at some of the other fouls that are given outside the box mm. with, with absolutely no contact or minimal contact. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Hugo got given a foul that was less of a foul than the penalty, like yeah. like ten minutes after. So anyway, yeah, absolutely. Um, we touched on it just briefly before, but Ipswich's um, goal that put them in front. Mm. It, I'm not quite sure what happened no, because not. to me it looked like Victor saved it, and then you just saw the ball trickling across the yeah. line, and Morrison's the only one that's reacted to it at that point in time, uh, and then it's been given. So it's a bit. What's just happened? Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, it, we, we, we weren't a million miles away from it, and I still look. I, I can't. It looked to me like it came off somebody's backside. Mm. Um, if that's the case, I'm sure it'll have been Freddie that scored because that's usually no, one it, of the parts of the body it, that he scores <laughs> with. It was um, number 14. Was it? Once it I, think. I, I, I have um, no idea. It, I, it came off somebody's backside. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it was hardly. A, <laughs> it was hardly a, a screamer, was it? No, but not really. It's but, still a poor goal to concede. Yeah. Definitely. <clears throat> um, and lastly, um, T to the rescue mm. in just gone out of time. And what a finish. Cracker. What a finish. Good grief. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, I was stood right next to him with a big screen in the stadium, and <clears throat> when he strikes it, you think it's going wide, mm. but then somehow it's just bent inside the post. Yeah. That's the, oh, what a goal! And that's two players with the first goal for the club as well, I believe. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, it is. It is. And and to be fair, you know, it's it's as good a finish as as uh, Ipswich's first goal. You know, they're very similar, I guess, in terms of uh, in terms of in terms of finishing. So two really well crafted goals. Um, so yeah. Great finish. Yeah, but the most important question is: Is it an improvement on the QPR game? In patches, mm. I think it has been in patches. Certainly, that first twenty minutes, we really took the game to them. Um, second half, back to ourselves, just allowing the away team to dictate to us. You know, and, and we, you know, Matt Taylor talks about. I said this to Matt during the game. Matt Taylor talks about we want to try and shed this teams like Rotherham, woe is me kind of attitude. But then we let us, let teams come here and bully us. You yeah. know, you can't. It's got to be one or the other. Um, so yeah, we, we've got a lot. Of, we've still got a lot of work to do. A lot of work. Yeah. To me, it felt like it was a weird switch of the game. Like normally we're quite poor in the first half, and then in the second half mm. it picks up. But we were at it from the first minute, and then slowly dropped off towards the end of the game until TE popped up. Um, but if we can take this sort of mentality into the Watford game like all right, fair enough it's away but <clears throat> if we take that sort of start into the Watford game maybe we could see something different on the road potentially no we're no. away <laughs> that's not going to happen is it let's be realistic <laughs> uh, and we'll end on that point so thank well, you very much for... just one thing I, I oh, mean well, we, well. we need to add it. and we'll, we can discuss this on the podcast on Thursday night oh. um, I, I can't remember a time at New York Stadium where, and we call it Mardi in Yorkshire, I don't know what it's called in Norfolk and Suffolk, but I have never seen a set of supporters, genuinely, and I mean this genuinely, I'm not trying to wind up, I have never seen a set of supporters, so, I don't know what the what is the word, Mardi, every time, it was just like appealing for, I, I don't know. I'm ball! I'm ball. <laughs> That's what it was, bizarre, honestly, yeah. that, that was, a, it, it was pretty poor to be honest. Yeah, but... Anyway, anyway, we'll end on that point. It was which fans beating Mardi. Subscribe, Ipswich fans. Yes, make sure yeah, you yeah, like, yeah. like and subscribe. Tell us how Mardi you were in the comments section and all that. Um, and we'll see you on Thursday <laughs> for the uh, review of Ipswich and the preview of Watford. Take care, everybody. <laughs>